So MPS7 is one of the more rare forms of MPS. Uh, the, the actual prevalence is unknown. It's estimated to be 1 in 250,000. So it's one of the more ultra-rare disorders out there. It's autosomal recessive, and so it's inherited uh, from parents that are carriers of the disease. And it can hide out in families, so you may not know that um, when your parent has a, is a carrier of this uh, gene mutation. And it leads, this gene mutation leads to the enzyme deficiency of glucuronidase, thereby leading to accumulation of specific GAGs throughout the body. Uh, patients can present, as I stated, with a more severe form called non-immune high drops, which is either prenatal or at birth, a child with a lot of fluid overload, ascites, um, and uh, difficulty breathing and failure to thrive. On the other spectrum, children can be completely developmentally normal and escape uh, diagnosis for many years, and they might have recurrent ear infections, short stature, growth problems, um, but the, and they may not uh, immediately uh, come to diagnosis by their pediatrician, and so it might take years before they know it, and that would be years of, of lack of therapy at this point. So it's very important to consider MPS disorders uh, if you have short stature, or facial features that we call coarse, um, which are prominent forebrow and other features, or abnormalities on their x-rays uh, showing skeletal um, uh, dysplasias, uh, something called dysostosis multiplex.